Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Saroj and today I'm going to talk about NCBI and how to download a specific gene from NCBI. In the last lecture, we talked about Snap Gene Viewer. This is lecture two in the series Genomics and Bioinformatics. In this lecture, we are going to talk about gene and how to download a gene from NCBI and do further analysis. Let's go ahead and see how we can download a gene from NCBI. Let's go to the Google browser and type NCBI and open the NCBI website. NCBI is National Center for Biotechnology Information. It has all the genome information, all the publication information. So if you are doing some research and you want some information regarding a certain gene, pathway or transcript or transcriptome or whole genome, you can refer it to NCBI and look for different database it has. So if you look at the database, it has all the assembly, collections, books, genome, gene, and gene expression data set. It has all the stuff you need. So first what we'll do is we'll look for a particular gene. In this case, let's look for a specific gene, sweet 10, and see what will be the different hit we can get. So if we type just sweet 10, then we are getting six PubMed and 58 publications. The, the, these are the full text publication, while pub, these are the abstract for biomedical rep, repository. And we can see there are two genomes available, there are 336 nucleotide, one clinical trial regarding the gene, and 204 genes and 84 gene expression data sets. And it has like different proteins, 147 proteins. So you can get all the information. So if you type any of the, just look for by PubMed Central, so you will get all the publication related with this sweet 10 gene. So you can see like the first publication we can see is the sugar transporter sweet 10 X down, downstream of flowering locust tea during floral transition E of Arabidopsis thalianum. So what we'll do now is we'll go and look for Arabidopsis thalianum gene. So it will make it specific and it will be easier for us to find a specific gene. To do this one, we have to go to advanced and it is a very good way to search for any particular gene for your organism. So you just type switch 10 and you can notify what you want, but I'll just leave it open all field. However, in the second field, I'll go and select the organism. So let's select like the organism. So in organism, we'll use Arabidopsis thaliana. So Arabidopsis is a model plant. Arabidopsis thaliana and search for it. So when we are searching for Arabidopsis thaliana, then we did not search for a gene. So let's see, just go to gene and now search. So now we see there is one sweet gene for Arabidopsis thaliana. Just click it. And you will get all the information regarding the sweet gene in Arabidopsis thaliana. So we can see the primary source of the gene organism is Arabidopsis thaliana and the genotype is Columbia. And it is located in chromosome five. And you can see all the genomic sequence data and all the related publications, they are listed here and all the information regarding that gene in Arabidopsis. So now what we'll do is we need this gene bank file and we will also get the FASTA file. And if we want, we can do the sequence viewer, but it's fine. And these are the mRNA and protein. So this is mRNA and this is protein. So if you need mRNA or protein, you can download from here, but if you want all the details regarding the gene, then you can go to GeneBank, download the gene, and in the gene, if you download the GeneBank version, then you will be able to get all those gene, gene, mRNA, CDS, and protein sequences. So let's go and see this one, Arabidopsis thaliana in chromosome five. So this is the sweet gene we want. And you have the protein sequence here, and this is the genomic sequence. So what we'll do, we'll download different type of sequence from here. For this one, we go to, for downloading, we go to send to, 
and you do gene feature and fast a nucleotide so if you go to coding sequence then you can do fast a or protein and if i want complete record then i can go here and choose file then you can download the gene bank file this will give you all the information let's download one gene bank file so it will give you the gene bank file so we'll go and change the name so we'll do arabidopsis thaliana sweet chain gene bank file so it is going to be sweet chain gene okay so now let's go and download coding sequence and for coding sequence there is either nucleotide or protein so first we'll download nucleotide create file so that is going to be nucleotide, nucleotide sequence and similarly we can do protein sequence also let's do protein sequence also so create file so now let's go and change the file name so this is nucleotide so arabidopsis thal thaliana switch chain cds so this was the cds sequence and this is a protein sequence Protein, protein. Okay. So now what we ha we have done is we have downloaded the loaded the CDS sequence, whole genome sequence, which is a gene bank file and protein sequence. Okay. After downloading, let's go to Snapchat Viewer and open the files we have. So we go to open file. So let's open the gene bank file first. So this is the gene bank file. So now this is the map view of GeneBank file. The whole sequence we downloaded 1809 base pair. This is a gene. And this is the mRNA for the gene. So you can see there are mRNA and these portion are exons. Sorry, these are not exons. These portions are introns. And the third here, so this should be the CDS sequence because it doesn't have the 5' UTR and 3' UTR region. So this is a CDS sequence. So let's go in sequence view and see. Okay, now we can see. So the whole thing we can see here is a genomic sequence, which is a gene. However, this is a first exon. We can see here methionine to leucine, 15 amino acid. This is a first exon, which is being translated into protein and before this all this sequence are um, these are mrna so this should be the five prime UTR region so let's go and annotate the file we can go and we can feature add feature and we can do five prime utr so these are five prime on translated region so if you want you can give a color so for utr let's give a darker color UTR region, 5 prime UTR. Let's change the color. So let's make it dark green. So this is 5 prime UTR. Similarly, on the other side, we have 3 prime UTR. So from here to all here. So this is a 3 prime UTR region. Let's go to feature, add a new feature, and do 3 prime UTR. And let's give a different color. So we can give a red color. Okay. Now we know this is a three prime UTR region. So this is being converted into protein. Similarly, this is second exon, which is being converted into protein. This is third exon. And this is fourth exon. And this is fifth exon. This is sixth exon that is being converted into protein. And let's see what different enzymes we have so if we want to clone the gene so these enzymes will be very helpful in cloning the gene and now if you go to the feature section so we can see all the different features so if you remember in the previous lecture we we downloaded a FASTA format and we did not see any feature however when you download a gene bank version you will be able to see all those features which will be helpful for us in 
better understanding the gene. So it will show you the protein sequence after translation. It will show you a different regions, what region is what. So this is five prime UTI region. There are three prime UTI region. So you will be able to see all the details and primers. So we have not designed any primer, so we don't see anything here. So we'll design the primer in next lecture. So this is the gene bank format. So next we'll be talking about the faster format of CDS and CDS file, open file. And I think this is the CDS file. So this is going to be the text file. So I just open this file, double standard linear. Okay. So this will give us the text file and sequence. It doesn't have any annotation, nothing. So this is our CDS means this is just exon sequence. It doesn't have five prime UTR. It doesn't have three prime UTR. It doesn't have intron, only the exons. And these are called CDS. CDS means coding DNA sequence that are only translated into protein. And we have different enzymes here and feature. We didn't, if you remember the first file we had, that was a genome file. And this is a CDS file, which is a faster file. So we didn't have any feature here. However, what we can do is if we want, we can add a feature by just select the feature you want and go to features and add feature. So we'll be able to see it. However, we, we are not going to do it now. Next, we are going to open a protein file. File and open files and open this AT Suite 10 protein file. So this file will, so this is the map. It doesn't show any enzymes because we cannot cut the protein with enzymes. That is only for the DNA sequences or RNA sequences. Therefore, we'll just see the sequence. So this is the protein sequence. It is 289 amino acid long sequence. So if you multiply this protein sequence by three, then we'll get the CDS number. So if we see the CDS file, 289 multiplied by three is around like 870. So this is the CDS file. So one is TAA. So this is the, I think we can, we can name it. So this is a start code and feature, add feature. Let's make it red color so we can write start codon and TAA this is a step codon feature add feature step codon so let's make it green so everything is going to be translated into protein except this one this last three because this is a stop codon and it will give translation the signal to stop the translation process thank you so much for watching this video in this video we showed how we can download different type of sequence mrna sequence cds protein and dna sequence from the ncbi database and work on different feature and also look at the different sequences and identify what are the exons, what are the introns, 5 prime ETR, 3 prime ETR, stop and stop codon and the start codon, which is always methionine. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like my content and want to learn more on genomics and bioinformatics, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much and I'll see you in next video.